Hi, this is Anthony and welcome back to my show. As I launch into this video, as always, please subscribe if you haven't already and also click the like button and hopefully leave a comment at the end. My most recent videos on Nano Dimension stock symbol NNDM, an Israeli high-tech company listed on NASDAQ, always garner a lot of comments and views. For sake of transparency, I do not own any shares of Nano directly, nor am I shorting the stock. I do have a couple technology mutual funds which likely own some Nano shares in them. However, the total value of those in my portfolio, I'm guessing, is probably about $5. I'm clear in my videos that I'm currently, for the near and medium term, bearish on Nano. However, I want to show both sides of the argument for the sake of transparency. I don't want you to buy or sell or avoid NNDM based solely on what I say. I want you to take into account my views along with many others before you make any decisions. At the end of this video, I'm going to have some slides that contain lengthy comments left by a loyal viewer who presents arguments opposing my own. Please watch the whole video and check those out. Let's quickly look at some screenshots from the Seeking Alpha page on Nano. And I personally think that one has to be careful about some of the Seeking Alpha's articles when they analyze individual stocks. I do not always agree with their analysis. However, these are just the raw numbers without analysis from Seeking Alpha. Here's the capital structure. As you can see, it currently has a market cap of about $650 million. Very little total debt and over a billion dollars in cash. Because of all that cash and very little debt, it has an enterprise value of negative $571 million. Now that may seem like a bad thing, but actually negative enterprise values are a good thing in many cases. However, people get excited to see all that money in the bank and think that this stock is undervalued. Remember, the company has all that money because of a secondary share offering when the shares were trading higher. They do not pay a dividend and they're not going to pay out any of that money to shareholders. So don't get too excited about that cash. As you can see, up until 2019, they had $4 million in the bank and they admitted in filing documents that they were on the verge of bankruptcy. So while it's great to see the money in the bank, and that is actual money, that's not coming from sales of products because they are losing money on selling products. I'm going to scroll through some of these slides fairly quickly, of course, do your own in-depth research on the financials of this company. The company has also bought a handful of other companies recently. I wasn't able to screenshot much of the information from Seeking Alpha because of their pop-ups trying to get me to subscribe to them. But of course, do your own research. And while sometimes acquirers acquiring other companies can help the bottom line of the acquirer, one has to consider the success of Nano operating its existing businesses. If it can't make a profit with its existing business, will it be able to integrate and make a profit with other businesses that perhaps were bought at the height of the market? And here's a long-term chart from the time that they were IPO'd. If you would have bought when they first were floated on the stock exchange, you would have lost near 97% of your money. Even if you didn't buy then, you would have lost a lot of money. And yes, I know they had a stock split. This chart has been adjusted to take that into account. Here's a couple screenshots of the past four quarters. The most recent one is first, and then they go back in history. As you can see, the trends don't look very good. As I always mention, I have nothing against Nano Dimension Technologies Limited. I want them to do well. I want their stockholders to do well. But with this particular company, I don't see many positive signs. If you could find a trend in their finances that show that they will become profitable anytime soon, please point that out. So I want to keep today's video short for analysis dealing with management changes with the billion dollars that they have in the bank with former stock splits and secondary share offerings and many other topics. Look at my previous videos that I've done on Nano. I'll also have a link to their financials in the show notes. Here's what you've been waiting for. Recent comments from one of my loyal viewers. Again, he's given me permission to put his comments in my video and I think it's good to show you what other people who disagree with me are thinking even if I think they were focusing on the wrong things. When investing in stocks, you should look at all points of view and make your own decisions. I'm going to put his comments on the screen for a couple different slides because one slide won't hold all of his comments. I'm not gonna put them on for very long. This is YouTube, you can stop and start it once you get done reading. Okay, that's all I wanna say for today. I'd love to hear from you. Please leave your comments in the comment section below and if you disagree with me, please feel free to point out weaknesses in my arguments. Hopefully by now you've subscribed to this channel and like this video. I would love it if you looked at my other videos. Hopefully click the like button on those and leave a comment, even a short one. All those things really help me out in building a following. 
As I always mention, this is not investment advice. I'm not an investment advisor. I'm just some guy on the internet that you don't know, making YouTube videos that hopefully provide some entertainment. But I try to create entertainment that gives you a starting point where you can do your own research and potentially find stocks that might have some place in your well-diversified long-range portfolio. Thanks for watching and good luck in investing.